Scene, by the way. A scene with Blake. I think you were in just about every scene. Good for you, man. See, I told you all we wanted to get up here today. Uh, in this next game, I'm going to get two improvisers, uh, Ben and Anne Marie. And instead of having them justify positions, I'm going to call out uh, a bell, because I don't have a bell. So I'm just going to go ding. And they're going to know that the words they just said won't suffice for that scene. And they got to change what they just said. You'll get the hang of it. So, grab a suggestion. OK, I'd like to get suggestions for adjectives you would call someone like your mother. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Or. <laughs> Lovely, you have great mothers. <laughs> Wise. <laughs> Wise. Wise, okay. Annoying? There's one! Okay, you know what, I'll take off. <laughs> Andrew, come down to aisle 16, Andrew. I know you are flirting with that girl. Come down to aisle 16. Uh, um, oh. you got, you're, you're, you're going to get in trouble again. You're not supposed to be yelling over the intercom. Andrew, I am your boss. You do not know what you are talking about. No, we've, we've had... A, I've been here for eight months now. You've been here only a month. I'm more senior than you. I'm a judge. I was promoted. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> see these Barbie dolls over here? And these Ken dolls? Yeah, I put them there. I know, you've been here more, more than I have. Longer. I know, and that's where they go. This is where they always go. Yes. I always put them. Well, they are together. They need to be in different sections because they are, you know, there should not be Barbie and candles together. It is work. Work. There's no gallivanting with boys and girls. Ding. There is no dolls allowed in this aisle at all. They need to be out of here. Ding. I like all these dolls and I want to throw them at you because I don't have enough fun at work. Well, if you start throwing me, who's going to have to pick it up? I'm going to have to pick it up. I always have to pick it up. I pick up all the mess you leave behind. That food fight you had the other day with Lisa <laughs> in, in the other aisle, I had to clean all that up, and you just went home. I am the boss. I should go home whenever I want to. We already went over this. If, if you're the boss now, then you have to find someone else to pick up. Ding. If you're the boss, you can fire me if you don't like what I do. Ding. You should stop being the boss, because Tony Danza is the real boss. <laughs> I do not know this Tony Danza. Is he funny? No, not really. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm going to throw these because it is more fun. I'm tired of work, you know. I'm tired of being the boss, but it's just, it's so much more fun to do this because I am, you know, stressed out and I need some... Uh, vacation time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's let's stop. Let's stop throwing things and let's just just tell me what's what's the problem. What are you so stressed out? I don't understand. I have been working a hundred hours a week. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you kidding? I don't know what you're talking about. You just went over. You get to leave whenever you want. Ding. I get. I work a hundred hours a week. You don't work a hundred hours a week. Ding. I've seen you around here like three days total in the past six months. <laughs> Okay, apparently I cannot pull one over you. Uh, yes, this is true. I do not work very often, but I look like I work. Look at my important uniform. Ding. Look at my big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Gotta leave it.